How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Colton's Reviews, where I like to review Bibles, books, and other theology-related things. I also do some music sometimes. And today, um, I have uh, an exciting video to put out today because it is the first time something like this has happened on my channel, which is super cool. Um, today, I'm actually going to be looking at a planner, and it's one that I've been interested in for a bit, uh, but I, you know, never tried it before. Um, I reached out to this company and just asked, hey, would you be interested in sending a review copy for my YouTube channel? And they um, obliged uh, very graciously. So that company is Monk Manual. So this is the planner I'm going to be taking a look at today with you on the channel. Uh, with the new year coming up and um, things, you know, reorienting um, sort of you know, your schedule and looking ahead and all those things, um, I thought it'd be a good time to take a look at a planner as we um, get into December. This could make a great Christmas gift uh, for for yourself or for some friends and family. So um, let's take a look at the Monk Manual and see uh, what it's all about. I fix my eyes on Christ. Okay, guys, so here is the Monk Manual. Um, before I get into it, I want to show you a couple of things it came with. First, it came with a sleeve wrapped around it. I'm not going to read all that, but if you would like to, feel free. Um, there's the back. It also came with a couple of stickers and this little pocket here with a welcome a getting started guide and there's actually a QR code in that and how to use this thing effectively and then it also came with this little um, field notes style it's not actually field notes but field notes style um, notebook dot grid all that and uh, you can actually put this in the back of the planner I'll show you here in a sec but let's take a look at the planner itself it comes in this um, it's not genuine it's not real leather but it's a leatherette sort of binding it says monk manual there on the front has a strap that's it's kind of hard with my lighting to tell this guys but that it's it's green this strap is like a dark green and there's the back and it has three ribbons and i'll show you in a second um, what you would use those for so let's crack it open um, it has that sort of green dark hunter green sort of imprinting there um, I'm going to skip the page. There is a page that has like, you can put your personal information. Um, since I wrote one in there, I'm going to skip it. Um, and there's little sayings. There's a letter from the creator here on how do you, you know, basically the vision behind this, those things. The guy's name is Stephen Lawson. Now, if you run in the same circles I do theologically, you probably know Stephen Lawson as a great Bible expositor and pastor, preacher. Um, professor, all those things. Um, it's not that Stephen Lawson. <laughs> this is different. Um, there's certainly a some uh, Christian-esque elements to this, but this is not necessarily a Christian product. It's something I think can be used very effectively by Christians, however. So it shows you sort of what inspired this, how it works, and I'm not going to read all this. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the sections here in a second, but there's the breakdown. It has monthly, weekly, and daily pages that you work through in the planner. And it just kind of has a breakdown of those things here. Um, again, there's a QR code that's built in there for getting started, all that. Um, one of the things I haven't seen a lot of people show is the front and the back of these, it has a quarterly check-in. So, there's quarterly um, like goal setting and things like that that you can set here right in the beginning. Um, possible habits that you might want to develop this quarter themes. And then in the very back, it has the same sort of thing, a quarterly reflection built in right there. Um, so this is sort of a quarterly check-in as you start. This is a reflection on the quarter. These are, if you didn't know, 90-day planners. So they are quarterly planners. Um, 
so yeah, that's the first section, uh, the very first section. And then the bulk of it, you're going to have this monthly section has awareness, clarity, wisdom. And I'm going to skip over one that I filled out, but you can see that's how it's laid out. Now, there's not a ton of space in here to write, um, you know, calendar appointments and things like that. Uh, you can do that, but basically this is a more or less way to um, look at the month as a whole and then look at um, maybe some priorities you want to set for that month. Uh, the theme and habit that you maybe want to focus on that month. Um, and then over here you have the, the check-in. And this is just sort of a, you can re evaluate your um, relationships, physical health, spiritual health, work, um, personal growth, play, and peace. Um, what can I change this month? These sorts of things. Now this part here is what, uh, this is how you're feeling now. And this is what Monk Manual is really good at. Other than, other than just being a planner that is for productivity, which it is, it's also a planner that's for reflection, for thinking about things that, um, ways that you've done things well and that you want to mark. Um, this one has relation to some great, I'm grateful for, um, insights gained. And then there's, uh, there's a blank space here with dotted pad for just whatever. Now this section you're supposed to fill out after the month's over. So that's what that's for. Um, Reflection, I think, is what makes the Monk Manual different. It's all about not merely pressing ahead, which is good, but also reflecting on what you have learned from what has already happened. Um, so those are the um, monthly pages. And then here we're going to get into the weekly pages. And it's similar deal. You can have here, though, a um, top three of things you want to accomplish this the, that week. And then there's a to-do list. Now they've highlighted here um, what your number one priority is going to be for, for that week. And that could be a task or it could be something far more simple like, I really need to learn how to rest well this week because I've been going and going and going, stuff like that. Um, personal growth, relationship growth, I'm looking forward to, um, things like that, that where you just mark these things out. Um, biggest accomplishments. This is the reflect side. This is after the week is over. You fill this out. Habit insights. So the habit you've been trying to form. How's it going? Meaningful moments. That's a good section. God is teaching me. That is the only um, sort of spiritual thing you will see in this is that God is teaching me. Um, but yeah, I, I love that it's there. Um, one change I can make next week. So um, yeah, that's, that's what a weekly page looks like. I know it might be hard to tell. Um, and I'm sorry if some of the, some of the shadows of my stuff is in the way, but these are, um, the lettering here, the font looks cool. It's like typewriter ish looking, and it's actually like a dark green colored font or a taupe. I don't know. It's, it's not black. When I saw reviews of this before, I thought the font was just black but it's not. Um, so those are some of the weekly pages. Now let's get to the daily pages. And here's what those look like. Has a similarity to the weekly page in that you have like a three priorities for the day and then a to-do list you can fill out. Uh, and then it has gratitude stuff. So I'm grateful for, I'm looking forward to those sorts of things. And then it has your daily um, it's like schedule, a marked out time block schedule thing on this side. You can use this or not use this. I tend to use it just for big things or big chunks of time where I know I'm going to be, oh, you know, seriously tied up like tonight when I have, I have to go into work and I'm going to be working from four o'clock till 1030. I know that that, you know, at night, that's going to be a big time block that's going to be gone. Um, and then you have a, a ways I can give uh, over here before you get into the reflect. So that's a good thing to just think of ways you can give of yourself. Um, reflection highlights, you know, basically what are some things that happened today that stand out? I was at my best when, you know, the, what, when, when was I really, um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing, feeling at peace with, about things. And then I felt unrest when, 
Um, and that's that section where you can just sort of write down whenever you're you're struggling or dealing with some issues. Um, when one change I can make tomorrow is the next one. I love that. So in this reflection, it's not just about looking at the past or or merely looking ahead. It's about using both of those things to um, just be uh, not just more organized, but at more at peace um, and those sorts of things. So I really like this. That's the gist of this layout. I really like this uh, planner a lot because most planners I've used are really just all about productivity and go, 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 go and get things done. Um, and this one is, is not just about that. It is about that, but it's about actually taking a minute to calm down, reflect on things and it encourages that sort of, that sort of thing. So that's all, you know, that's the daily pages, fill out the rest of it because that's what you're going to use the most. Um, and then the back, there is a pocket. And that's where you can put that um, little notebook right here. If you want this guy, it'll just fit right in there. And that way you just have some extra paper with you at all times. Um, also, when it comes to pens, some of you guys know I do like fountain pens. Um, but I actually haven't been using a fountain pen with this. Uh, here's some of the pens I've tested. And it's kind of hard to see, but... Um, the, these all seem to have performed okay. The Lamy 2000 did pretty well in this medium with this particular ink. This ink is the Diamine ink. Um, it did well. You, you can kind of see a little bit of featheriness, but not, not enough to like concern me. Um, Pilot G2 did well. This is what I've actually been using, the Muji gel pen and the 0.38. Um, Find quick a sport here. This one did great on this page and looks and looks okay, but there are also some times where I was getting some hard starts on this paper for some reason. I don't know. Um, fountain pens can do fine. I would caution against very wet inks uh, because they definitely will feather. I tried my personal favorite black ink on this, which is Noodler's Heart of Darkness, and yeah, it didn't bleed through or anything, but it just feathered out like crazy. So I can't use it with this, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, this is not about, to me, what pens I'm going to use as much as it is about an actual productivity and um, tool, you know, healthy tool to develop. So anyway, this has been a look at the Monk Manual. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this with me. I want to thank Monk Manual for sending this out to me to review for you guys to show you. Uh, I'll have a link down below to where you can get this from them. Um, I think it's a great planner, especially as you consider going into 2024. Maybe give the Monk Manual a look. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. I fix my eyes on Christ. I fix